going to use it a lot in live training. You're going to use it a lot when you, when you roll. Um, again, we're here, and this is just setting up what the technique we're doing. Hand on the, hand on the knee, hand on the waist, step through that space, kick out, push. His natural reaction is to frame and to start the hip escape away, right? So he's framing the hip escaping away. I'm going to take that hand, head, push it down, step around, put my knee on the ground. Notice that I'm already a little tighter right here, right? I'm already putting pressure on him. This hand comes to his waist, right? I'm all on top of him. All I got to do now is switch my hips. Switch my hips, and then I want to square up. His natural reaction is to tuck that for that underhook, and he starts to turn into me again. Press the head down, step around, hand. Look how all, I'm, all my pressure's on top of him. I'm not giving him any space. Hand goes to the waist. Turn, turn. He's gonna do it again. Again, he goes to that underhook. Press the head down. Step around. I'm tight. I'm putting all my pressure on him. Hand goes to the waist. Back around, switch, and if I can, I want to get a good side control position. If I get real lucky, grab that hand and get into a gift wrap, which is where our next technique is going to pick up from. So let's work on that a little bit longer. Let's try to get a few reps in. Count